what's going on? I'm with the Olympian Nico Hernandez, undefeated, 10-0. Hey, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you first of all. Yes, sir. How you been? I've been good, you know, back on, getting back on track. I had that little layoff. Now I'm back, coming to take over. So what was the layoff about? Were you injured or? Yeah, I had a, actually I got a shot in my leg. Uh, I broke both of my main bones. I got hit in my main artery. You know, I was out for a little bit, uh, but I'm back now. I'm back now. I'm That's what's up. Out. Let's talk about, you know, everything about your backstory, man. As an amateur, you have a decorated amateur, 94 and five, six time national champion. How did you feel back then, you know, being that you was kind of special. You was one of the ones who they was expecting to go to the next level. I mean, it makes me feel good. It makes me uh, feel like I have to meet that standard now. So now, now I'm, I'm not at the bottom, but you know, I had that layoff. So now I got to make my way back to the top. And you know, just something that I have to do, you know, for myself mainly, but you know, for the fans too. So I want to, I want to make it happen for everybody. What you was able to accomplish, I salute you for. We always salute the veterans, but we got to salute the Olympians too. Uh, thank Light you. flyweight, man. You know what I'm saying? You your your bronze medal. Yes, you sir. you have a tough go in the silver silver medal round. Oh, but when you think about it, you was able to do something that hadn't been done since 2008. Yeah. You was able to medal. You know what I'm saying? Right, um, right. Deontay Wilder medaled in 2008, and you medaled in the light flyway. What was that feeling for you? Man, it was, it was a great feeling. That's everything I worked for. I remember being at the Junior Olympics. I won the the National Junior Olympics two years in a row. But every time I was standing on top of the podium, I listened to that. Uh, the anthem play, I was like, man, you know, once I hit this grown men division, I gotta, I gotta make it on the, on the real stand. You know, just it was a lot of motivation for me, and I, I ended up making it happen. You know, me, me being at the Olympics, and I, I thought the split decision to the gold medalist, but I thought I could have went either way. So you see, I'm, I'm proud of the outcome, and I'm, I'm gonna get my, my get back with him also. So absolutely, what was your thought process when you was, you know, you was in the Olympics? It's a lot of things that worked out for you. Being being um, the first medal, medal, you know, to um, American wise since right, right, since right. the 2000, what, 2008 Olympics, yeah. and then in the light flyweight since Michael Copper Hall back in 1988, when you when you received that cut on your head during the um, silver medal round, what were you thinking? I was like, man, I hope this don't have nothing to do with the decision, you know, because when you get cut. And you got to get stitches, they won't let you fight the next day. So okay. I feel like that had a big factor in me not going to the gold medal round because I wouldn't have been able to fight anyway because of the cut. You know, uh, I mean, the cuts made me, it makes me kind of push harder, you know? It makes me. Yeah, you pretty I'm, much I'm, fought I'm his. Guy, so yeah, I mean, no doubt. You know, and you showed that too. Right, you right. fought you fought your opponent's fight. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What made you dig in and say, no, nah, this is going to be a dog fight. This is going to be a war. It's, it's everything I've ever worked for, you know? My. Uh, I had to do it for myself, and I had to do it for my, I was trying to do it for my family, so, you know, we put a lot of time and money into the, into the amateurs, so, uh, I had to make it happen. Where's your, um, bronze medal right now? My bronze medal's at my grandma's house. How was that celebration in your hometown, man, you know? Oh, man, it, it's big, like Drake said, they threw a parade for me, gave me the keys to the city and everything, so. That's what's up, man. Yeah, it, yeah. It's good to talk to you about it, you know, I, I, I follow, you know, your, your progress. I say, dang, this dude has a lot of chapters to his history yeah, on yeah. what you was been able to accomplish right. being that we didn't meddle in 2012 yeah but you did in rio yes sir so how do you like the professional ranks man what do you like most about your you know up to this point uh i'm not really too familiar with the uh, professional ranks but all i know is i want the number one spot and i'm coming for it so you know, whoever's in my way you know, we, we got to make it happen on the ranking system who do you see as a name that you would like to fight in the future uh and light fly. Yeah, what's that kid that just fought? Yeah, where's he from? Uh, I can't remember his name now. Well, it's all good. I mean, you, you, you climb the ladder once again. You back in the building. Yeah, what do you yeah. have to say to your fans out there as you head into this fight? I want to say, uh, be looking forward to tomorrow. You know, it's about to go down. You guys are going to see that I'm back. I'm here to make a statement and prove a point and know that I deserve that number one spot. So I'm coming for it. Hey, this is the one and only Nico Hernandez, the Olympian bronze medal. He has a lot of history. Look him up online. Salute. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. And um, look forward to seeing you compete, champ. Thanks. Appreciate it, everybody.